everyone, I am Kayla with DragonCon TV and here we are at the Hyatt Ballroom for Sword and Stage Workshop and we're going to learn what it takes to do some sword play on the stage. I'm here with Robert Chapin. And can you tell us a little bit about like, what you do? We're teaching everybody how to do sword play. It's demystifying how to learn stage combat sword play. And it's not practical sword play per se. Pal Palmetto Knights do a fantastic job of teaching the reality of sword play. But when you get on set, you can't actually kill the star. So if you want to have good entertainment, good perform sword play that's also safe, where you can't wear a lot of armor, you need to learn how to do it safely and whether you're an uh, actor, stuntman, or whether you're doing cosplay at the con and wielding a you know, foam sword, you want something that not only looks good, but is safe for yourself and everybody else around you. So that's what we do. We teach them the basics of sword fighting, stage combat. Yeah, I've been doing sword play for about 40 years, and it's just fun. And that's why I'm doing it at Dragon Con. How does the combat learned here translate to stage and film? It is directly translatable to stage. If it was real combat, which the Palmetto Knights do wonderfully at Dragon Con, full contact. There's a difference between cooperative and competitive. You know, one you're trying to kill the other person, and the other you're trying to work with the other person to do a performance and make it entertaining and make it last more than a couple seconds, which a real fight would, you know, would happen. You can't have a climactic fight of Star Wars in a couple seconds. Kind of have to stretch that out. Um, but there is more of an influence nowadays to be more realistic, to incorporate historical European martial arts into stage combat, but you still have to keep it safe. So there's a real disconnect between cooperative and competitive, and you have to know which side of the fence you're on, where do you want to play. You don't want to kill the star in the first five minutes, so you have to be safe. If you're looking for a workshop, whatever it is, the Dragon Con does a great job at, uh, in their website and their mobile app to let you know what those workshops are, how to get to them, uh, if there's any, there are some workshops like this one that's a paid workshop, so there's an additional fee to it, but they'll explain all of that stuff. All right, well that's thank you so much for, for joining us on DragonCon TV. Thank you. Why are you in this class and how are you enjoying it? I'm in this class because I thought it would be pretty fun mm -hmm. and interesting and it's been very interactive and it does a well, it does a good job of teaching me the basics and stuff, yeah. I've never really done anything choreographed or like been involved with like movie shooting or anything. Um, and it's really interesting kind of to see how, how they're doing it. And it's honestly really easy to learn. I thought it was going to be more difficult. <laughs> how is it learning from a pro? Yeah. Like who's done this for a living? It's probably a lot easier than like trying to figure it out on your own because he tells you everything to do and he corrects you when you make something wrong. He's also super nice about it and not like <laughs> too overbearing like some people are when teaching. Tell us about this class and if you're enjoying it. I am having a lot of fun. It's fun to like be able to do something with a lightsaber and just like it's really fun to learn along other side people how to block attacks and make them. Even though I've had had a lot of experience with lightsaber fights and choreography I've always wanted to be able to have a professional view on it if that makes sense like to be able to take from sword classes and be able to apply that to my choreography and stuff. Um, it has been a total blast that it's always fun to like swing sticks at things and people you know I think ever since caveman times we've just been like ah swing sticks it's just it's just a blast. A Jedi seeks to protect not destroy. I am no Jedi. Turn on the So we had a ton of fun here at the Sword and Stage Workshop. We learned a lot about sword play and how it translates to the stage itself. And you should try it out sometime. It's, it's a lot of fun. But I'll be back next time. I'm Kayla with DragonCon TV.